So let's talk a little bit about status changes. We basically have in our shop over 92 different statuses. Okay. And I have a Google doc running of every single status and what it does. Um, because there's no way that everyone in my business can remember exactly what they need to do. And at the same time, not every status is associated to every single person. Right. And so, um, you know, we have so many statuses, but we have so many statuses because there's a place and a position for everything. And sometimes we delete statuses, add statuses, we'll make some new ones, but we heavily rely on status change notifications. And just to kind of give everyone a background, status change notifications are simply four basic functions. It's either emailing the customer, emailing a person, texting a person, texting a customer. And those functions right there, whether you're texting the customer, the salesperson, or um, a specific person every time, that's how we use most of our um, most of our automation. I have 92 statuses. I am a for-profit business, so I won't necessarily just show you everything. You know, it's one of those things where the statuses that we have might not even relate to you. Uh, we have a status in here that says, you know, Jed help Jordan. That's when Jordan, who is our junior artist, is, you know, like flustered. He just hits that button and it sends Jed a text message. You can screenshot all you want. Um, won't, won't do you any help. But anyways, uh, first thing when I see shops, I notice that they don't have very many statuses. And so it's not like you have to go invent a bunch of different statuses, uh, but you want to go through every single part of the business and figure out like, you know, where could there be a status for this or this or this or this? This is what I use. I use a tool called draw.io. Uh, draw.io is a Google Doc plugin. And that's how we map our Printavo and our Zapier and, and all the different kind of flows that we have. So if there's something you take away from the call today, download or get draw.io, um, start using it. Uh, and then what you can actually do is say like, okay, you know, proposal out for approval. That's a status that we created and it emails the customer right there. So for us, a big thing that we do is, um, is using status change notifications to send customer emails. We don't necessarily use the messages tool. Um, for us, we just found that if we kept them at statuses, it was the same message every single time. Now, some people would say, you know, uh, the status change email isn't glamorous. Uh, we've been doing it that way for a really long time and not had any issues. Most of our customers are tuned to knowing, hey, you're going to get these emails that are going to come from this. Um, and that's the system that's, that's driving the bus. Are there prettier ways to do it? Yes. But we take all the email out of like typing an email out and drafting a message and attaching things. We just use status changes for that. For my formula, like, you know, and kind of my logic as we talked about, is my time is best spent selling. For someone else, their time might be best spent doing artwork. For your production person, it might be best spent doing scheduling. When you figure out what your automation goals are, they should be directly tied to what you should be spending your time doing. So when I have various things that I automate, the people are like, well, why do you automate that? It's one less thing that I have to worry about so that I can focus on sales or creative or whatever that is. I'll give you guys an example. Um, we have a square reader at our retail location. And occasionally um, they, the students don't put the invoice number in the notes. So I basically created a zap that said, if you spend over 50 bucks on the square reader, you're placing an order for something, um, go ahead and send me a Slack message just so I can keep a running tab in case one of those don't get marked as paid. So some of the zaps that you create might not be with Printavo. And actually it's, it's pretty easy to just let apps do different things. So for Zapier to work really well for us, we heavily integrate it with Slack. And Slack is the messaging tool that we use for the entire company because Slack has a really, really great um, open API and connects to almost every application out there on the market. Um, so that's what we use for all of our different notifications.